stands for the Short Term Assessment and Reablement Team. What we hope to do is support people to regain their independence, to retrieve any skills that they've lost or work with them to learn new skills or new ways to complete tasks. The Health and Social Care Partnership has always been very interested in supporting people to be healthy and safe and independent at home. In fact, it's probably the most important thing that, that we're focused on. So we wanted to, to create a, a new service which was focused on helping people achieve that level of independence to make sure that we were helping them regain their health and fitness as to the best of our abilities. Quite often we find when people have been in hospital they start to be deconditioned just due to the, the nature of being in hospital and being unwell. So we support them in their own environment to regain um, some of these lost skills. Well, I was found myself in a very bad position. Uh, alcohol was a big issue. I literally didn't move from the couch. I couldn't get upstairs, I couldn't go to, even go to the kitchen. Uh, I was in a bad way. I had a tumble while getting out of bed and collided with my walker, which saved me from a complete fall. After one night in hospital where I had x-rays, which showed nothing was broken, I came home. Laura phoned me a few days later and then visited, explaining about START. I was in the hospital when I was told about it. The ward manager came around and she says, if somebody come in to see you, she says, before you're released from hospital, they'll come and see how you're coping, what you're doing, how are you getting on, on in the house. We normally work with people for approximately six weeks. Sometimes we work with people less because they improve um, much faster. Sometimes we support people a little more um, if we can see that they are improving, um, but they maybe just need that, that extra little bit of input um, to get to where they need to be. When I got out of the hospital, I was moving into a brand new house, unknown to me. So we were quite busy initially the first week or so, just getting me settled in to a new place, just coming out of the hospital with a summer frame. Initially the progress was brilliant, but I couldn't have done without them. I, I, couldn't, I really couldn't have managed. I, was, I would still have, I've been in hospital for a long time, rather than I was. It's about really working with that person to identify what it is they need to be able to do, what it is they want to be able to do, uh, and how we can support them to do that. And then we would discuss with that person what their goals are. They came to interview me and then they took me down to the house from the hospital to see how I, I could get done. You've got to have goals. It's no use lying back and, and then getting everything done for you. They encourage you a lot, you know, which, which, which was really good. It can be really difficult sometimes for them because uh, a lot of the time we're we're doing with rather than doing for um, and that's really important that people understand that. The START team came in and assessed the house while my mother was in hospital and suggested aids that were available. Then early morning and evening visits from the STAR team to help my mother mobilise again and encouraging her to do what she could and showing her ways where she could get back her independence and you know, it's baby steps to begin with and then it's just the momentum has built and built. Uh, every piece of the equipment I was sent had proved invaluable in helping me to more independence. This lovely kettle that makes life easy to make my own drink. A sponge with a long handle. What else? Oh, something to lift my leg into bed at night. Even after the first two weeks, there was a huge difference in me. I wasn't using the simmer at all. It was fantastic. It's quite interesting seeing somebody's journey and that's one of the things I suppose I really like about my job is I get to see somebody at the very start um, where they may be needing quite a lot of assistance from our reablement workers to do various things within their home or out with their home to the end of our journey where they're actually going, do you know what, I love when you visit but you don't need to come tomorrow. <laughs> well, they were coming in in the morning and then they were coming in again at lunchtime. See how I was co coping, making my lunch. And then they were coming in, in again, sending them in the afternoon. 
I enjoyed them coming in, in, into the house every day, see how I was getting on. We are having good crack and everything. For us, it shows us actually um, they've got to the place where they need to be, so that's really nice. So reablement workers and carers working alongside other professionals like OTs and physiotherapists to make sure that we were bringing the best of our local professionals um, into people's homes. We've been able to pull together a team which is absolutely focused on supporting our local population and getting people back to, to, to levels of independence. The STAR team have been incredible. I can't praise them highly enough and I encourage anybody, if you have a relative who is in need of support, to check out whether the STAR team might be suitable for them or not. But uh, yeah, if I, I couldn't, there's no way I would have got out of the hospital as quickly as I did without them. I think START is an excellent service in the community and so good for those living alone. I found them, I found them excellent actually. I found them excellent.